Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Special guest today, 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. Talking about a great color combination, a great combination of, of engine, transmission, and color. This thing's totally fantastic. One thing that's really nice about it is everything is correct on it. Um, it is the correct numbers matching engine for this car. It still retains its original core support with the serial number of the car stamped in it yet. It does have the original fender tag for the car also. This car has power steering and power brakes. Original equipment air cleaner. The engine sits with the original intake manifold, water pump, everything just the way it came from the factory in 1969. Still has its working beep beep roadrunner horn in it. Correct exhaust manifolds, the cast iron manifolds that they came with. It does have a upgraded double pump Holly carburetor on it from the uh, AVS uh, 625 that this car came with, which is definitely a, a, a preference, you know, to have that Holly on it as opposed to the AVS. It has a uh, square radiator, bigger radiator, big wheel on the uh, uh, power steering pump, which kind of designates that it does have an optional 355 or 391 gear. We don't know that for sure. I uh, haven't checked the ratio on it, but that's pretty indicative of what they came from the factory with. It does retain its original Presto Light distributor. It's got a brand new battery in it. The hoses, lines, all the wiring is nice and fresh and clean on it. New uh, vacuum booster for the power brakes. Just a really great, great looking car. Auxiliary transmission oil cooler also in the front here. Nice combination of engine and transmission in this car and a fantastic color combination. We're going to go over the outside with you and show you what we got. Okay, front end of our 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. By the way, this is Hemi Orange. Correct code 999 or 99. Hemi Orange car. That's the way it was born. Hemi Orange does have the optional uh, striping, flat matte black striping on the uh, on the hood, give it that little bit of a racy look to it. Um, correct style grill, no marks or dents or um, deterioration at all on it. Still has all the argent type uh, uh, splatter paint on it. Uh, filler panel, nice, no dents or marks in it. Chrome on the front bumper is as nice as it was when it left the factory. Bumper fitment the same way, just absolutely beautiful. Basils around the headlights the same way. You can see the uh, Argent treatment is just as it was when it uh, it left the factory. Gorgeous. No marks around the anodized aluminum on the uh, uh, grill area, the headlight area. Fantastic car in the front of it. Okay, also, the gaps on this car, uh, the fitment of the uh, hood to the cowl to the front fenders, there's about an eighth of an inch and absolutely no deviation whatsoever. You can see this is as nice a fitment as you could ever hope for on one of these uh, 60s cars. Fantastic fit on the hood, nice paint, nice finish. Great combination in the front. Let's see what's on the side. Okay, now the driver's side of our Roadrunner. The paint's just beautiful on this car. Absolutely beautiful. Side marker light fits as nice and flush as could possibly ever be hoped for. 383 designation on the hood, which by the way, these 383s were grossly underrated. They rate them at 335 horsepower, they were knocking on the 400 door. These things ran, ran, ran. Call area to the fender, fender to the door. This is one of the nicest ones we've had for a long time, fitment wise. I mean, there's just absolutely no imperfections. Dog dishes and painted wheels, which are a preference to a lot of people. Some guys change them out and put Keystones or Kragers or torque thrusts on them, but. This is the way most of the Mopars came in this era, so a lot of people want to retain that originality. This one has that. Correct non-adjustable mirror. Uh, correct wiper blades and arms. Tinted windshield in this particular car. Real fresh looking, no wiper marks or anything on it. Looks really, really good. Trim around the windshield. There's absolutely nothing. No dents, no chips, no dings, no little marks on it whatsoever. Chrome around the wing, absolutely beautiful. New rubbers on it, nice and fresh and resilient. We got our Roadrunner decal here with Roadrunner designation on it, the way they came from the factory. The wipes, 
on the doors are just absolutely beautiful. You can see the chrome goes right up to the paint. It's not oversprayed or anything. Door handles look like the day they left the factory. The door to the uh, quarter panel and the rocker panel toward the back and the paint on the door is just absolutely beautiful. Also the roof, no dents, no marks, no dings whatsoever looking across it. Beautiful roof on this thing, no imperfections whatsoever. A couple little tiny waves right here in the drip rail molding, but you're not going to see them in a video. You really can't see them. I can feel them when I run my hand across it, but I really don't, really don't see them. Chrome on the uh, post, really nice. Of course, this rear window does flop out uh, at an angle to give you some ventilation through the car. Quarter panel on the car. Paint on this is the same as it is on the rest of this vehicle. It's absolutely beautiful. Hemi orange, it doesn't get much better than that. Trim around the back windows, same as the front, no marks at all. Nice flush fitment of it. Beautiful fitment. Hat rack, just the way it left the factory. None of the places between the uh, grill areas are broken out or deteriorated at all and it's black the way it should be. Fender lips and quarter panel, just absolutely beautiful on the car. Again, the side marker light, nice flush fitment. Now you don't see any deviation at all. Rear tail section onto the quarter panel the same way. It's absolutely beautiful. Down the side of this car is as laser straight as you could ever hope for one. Uh, it's a 69 Roadrunner. It's, it's over 200 inches long and there's no deviations, no waves, no nothing. This car is just as laser straight as you could probably put one. Nice car on the driver's side. Let's see what we can find on the back. Okay, the back of our 1969 Roadrunner, Hemi Orange obviously, same deal, about an eighth of an inch gap the whole way around, a little tiny bit more in the front of the uh, deck lid for the movement forward when you open it, but it might be closer to a quarter, but that's the way it came from the factory. Same thing, eighth inch on this side, Roadrunner with our little Roadrunner guy there with his helmet. Correct exhaust style tips for the uh, exhaust on this car. It does have the uh, upgraded interior in it, by the way. Basils around the uh, tail lights, nice and shiny plastic. The, the splatter silver around the uh, light is just as nice as you'd ever want to hope to find one. The chrome around it is beautiful. Again, the bumper fitment, if you see the bumper fitment on the back of this car, you're going to need a micrometer if there is any deviation, but I can't tell just by looking at it. It looks precision from this point. Chrome, the backup lights are nice and clear yet. Chrome on the bumper is this, looks like a foot thick, just like it was when it left the factory. Basil around this tail light, the same as the other side. Again, if you look at the paint on the trunk, it's the same as the, the hood. It's just absolutely beautiful. There's no deviations, no dents, no marks. This is as nice a Mopar as we've had for a while, fitment-wise and finish-wise. Beautiful car. Okay, passenger side. Let's see if we can find something here. Side marker light, the same as the other uh, two that we had. Quarter panel, the same way. Trim around the back window, still no dings or dents or marks or anything in it. Roof on this side, obviously the same as the other, just absolutely flawless. No dents or marks or, or any deviations in it. Quarter panel the whole way. By the way, we still haven't found a stone chip or a mark on this car. Nowhere yet. Not one. Fitment of the door to the uh, quarter panel. As precision as you could have one ever. Chrome on the door handle. Absolutely beautiful. Again, the window, window swings out in the back. Uh, little tiny mark here. You won't see it, but it's there. Yeah, there's, there's really nothing to report on this car so far. The uh, wipes on the doors fit on this side as they did on the other side with real precision. Door itself to the uh, rocker panel, back up to the cowl area. The wing again is the chrome finish, everything, rubber is fresh. Uh, our road runner again. Wow, this car is amazing. Really amazing. Front fender to the door. Same as the rest of this thing. Side marker light, the same as the other three. We got four for four. I don't see a stone chip, a mark. 
Absolutely nothing. Turn around the window. I'm trying to find something. I can't. There's nothing for me to find, apparently. Even the dash, you can see through the windshield, the dash is nice and freshly painted. It, it's not faded out or bleached out in any way. I, I don't see a single thing on this car. Nothing. It's, it's as, uh, if you want to use perfect as a word, which I never do, it's, it's, it's nearing perfection. Let me put it to you that way uh, for a 1969 Roadrunner. These cars are very difficult to find that aren't completely destroyed, rotted out, beaten through the years to the end of their life. This particular car somehow has, me, has managed to uh, uh, retain most of its originality. It does have the original driveline in it. it. appears to be the original quarters. We haven't given it uh, a complete go around yet, but they appear to be the originals. They have the splatter sound deadener inside of them so for the first indication it is. Interior is the upgraded interior, which you'll see in a few minutes here when we do a, uh, a video of it. But the exterior of this car that just, we just circumnavigated here, there isn't an imperfection that I could find that would be out of line with a brand new one in 1969. This car is the best color combination that you could ever hope to find. Hemi orange with a white interior, black carpet, dog dish wheels, automatic transmission, Original numbers matching 383 motor in it. It doesn't get much better than that. And we have it here at Hankster's. It's very, very nicely priced for what it is. You're going to absolutely flip out over this car. Fantastic, fantastic 69 Roadrunner. Okay, we're in our 1969 Roadrunner Hemi Orange. White interior. Interior of this car is absolutely stunning. It does have all the seat belts with it, front and rear. Uh, it has the optional upgraded interior. It does not have bucket seats. It has the optional bench seat interior. Original headrests on this car. The headliner is stretched tight as a drum. Original um, sun visors on it. Padded dash on this car has no cracks or breaks or fading whatsoever to it, nor does the padding on the uh, glove box or the front fascia of the dash. The um, speedometer cluster, the gauge cluster, is crystal clear, plastic's not milky at all. Retains its original AM wheel style uh, radio in it. Does have a set of auxiliary gauges underneath in white face to help contrast the uh, black and match the white inside the car. Does have an optional aftermarket, it says Plymouth on it. Uh, steering wheel. It's a little smaller, it's a little more updated than the original steering wheel that came in this car, but as far as originality goes, this is the only thing on this car that I can see that isn't the way it was when it came from the factory. Door panels are just as they were when they were brand new. All the chrome on the panels is absolutely beautiful. I, I, I don't see anything in this car. The carpeting is absolutely nice and fresh. It's not faded anywhere. There's no wear on anything. Hat rack in the back, as we previously stated, is just as nice and clean as can be and black and not deteriorated at all. The rear seat looks like it's never been used. Fantastic color combination in this car. Uh, it runs and drives just the way it looks, too. And it's available here at Hangsters, so you better call and check this one out. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, underneath a really fantastic Hemi orange 69 Roadrunner. This car is as new underneath as it is on top. Totally amazing. Retains a lot of its originality. A lot. 90% of them where you can see anyway. Disc brakes in the front. Uh, the uh, calipers appear to be fairly fresh. Uh, new tie rod ends. Uh, sway bar has new links on the end of it and bushings. Heavy duty uh, torsion bars. As you can see no leaks on the motor. This is a numbers matching correct engine for this car also. It is the car that this car was, or the engine that, that this car was born with. It's still intact in this vehicle. Original starter, two and an eighth inch pipes coming off the original cast iron exhaust manifolds. Subframes in the front are absolutely beautiful. Uh, very, very, very nice condition. I don't even see any lift marks or jack marks on them anywhere. Absolutely not. I don't know how they stayed that. And yeah, one little one right here. Through the years, someone has put a jack stand there and also one right here. Other than that, the subframes 
uh, laterally don't have anything on them. Original floor pans in this vehicle and fender wells. Floor pans transition over and you can see the spot wells where they're attached to the rocker panels. Again, two and an eighth inch uh, pipes coming off the uh, cast iron manifolds. Original tranny cooling lines, 727 uh, transmission. Again, no leaks. No leaks. Appears to be fresh also. You know, we didn't check the number on this tranny. Can't quite see it. Can't see it from here. We will do that though, uh, and list it with our uh, uh, data on the uh, on the vehicle. Four pans toward the back, just as nice as could ever be hoped for. Structural supports on them are all nice and intact. No one's apparently jacked this one up on the floorboards through the years. Original parking brake still there and functional. Original brake lines on the driver's side. Original fuel line on the passenger side. I don't see anything on this car that was disrupted from the day it was built. Uh, real nice crisp pinch welds yet on the uh, rocker panels to the floor pans, which even toward the back here are just as nice as can be. I don't see anything at all on them. Two and eighth inch pipes transition into uh, two flow master mufflers that are brand spanking new. The torque boxes in the front of your uh, rear springs are as nice as you could ever hope for. There's no marks or, or jack marks or anything on them. Uh, leaf springs in the rear, which you'll see shortly here. Um, everything on this car so far appears to be as it was in 1969 when this car was released. I don't see anything that was disrupted from day one. It's uh, we've got the original splatter undercoating underneath it, the original floor pans. Uh, nothing's hurt underneath this car. Very, very nice car so far. Let's see what's on the other half here. Okay, back part of our uh, Hemi Orange Road Runner. The uh, subframes in the rear. Absolutely no marks at all. Nothing. No jack marks up through the years. Real nice arch to the uh, rear springs yet. Uh, aftermarket set of shackles in the back to give the rear a little bit more lift than the front. Uh, adds a little bit of a rake to it. Brand new shocks in the front. Brand new air shocks in the rear. It does have air shocks in the rear of this vehicle. Eight and three quarter heavy duty rear end. Original gas tank still retaining its original strapping also. Uh, two, two inch or two, no they're two and an eighth. Uh, pipes going out of the uh, Flowmaster mufflers to the correct exhaust tips in the rear. Floor pans in the back and the drop downs that still appear to be original. From what I can tell from under here, it doesn't appear that they've been replaced. Everything looks as nice and crisp and fresh as it was the day it left the factory. The um, frame section across the back, same way, it's not pulled or, or dented in any way. Um, this car is as new underneath as you can hope to find a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. It's, it's a fantastic example of one, the greatest color combination you could ever hope to find. I just spent some time trying to find anything I could underneath this car, and other than a couple of minute marks, I couldn't find a single thing. This is a very nice car. This definitely warrants taking a look at. It's one of a kind color combination and an absolutely gorgeous car. Here in Hangsters, Daytona Beach. Thank <laughs> you.